<laughs> oh, says, hi. Goodness. Oh, you have eye jewelry. He says, oh, you have a foreign object. Let me remove that. Video game enthusiasts, I am sure you know that a lot of the most popular video game characters are actually based on animals. Yes, a lot of them are. Of course, some of these characters look nothing like their in real life counterparts. Okay, yeah, I'm just picturing giant CGI terrifying Sonic in my head. Do you think you would recognize some of these video game animals if you saw them in real life? Um, uh, depending on the video game and the animal, maybe. Well, today we're gonna show you some real living animals, and you'll have to guess what video game or game series they're from and which character they inspired. Cool. I'm, that's awesome. I'm so excited. Like, real animals? Wait, I get, do, can I pet them? Yup. Awesome. Wait, this is the greatest day of my life. I wasn't prepared for this. We're taking you to a place called Animal Tracks. This is a wildlife conservation and rescue center. Aside from giving happy homes to exotic animals that cannot return to the wild, Animal Tracks specializes in up close and personal educational experiences. Oh, how fun. That's such a good place where they just have like sanctuaries. They're like, here's animals. And then also learn about them and get to see them. I like education and up close and personal with animals and video games. Guys, what an episode. Are you ready to go? <laughs> yes, let's go. Are we leaving now? Okay, let's. Let's go. Do you recognize this monkey from any video games? Oh, hello. <laughs> um, definitely Super Monkey Ball. Maybe Diddy Kong. They're monkeys, so immediately <laughs> Super Monkey Ball comes to mind. So the only video game monkey that comes to mind is Donkey Kong. <laughs> It totally reminds me of Diddy Kong. I mean, all I can really think of is Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong. I'm thinking like Mankey from Pokemon. This is Animal Tracks, and one of the things we do here is educate people on primates. These monkeys live here at Animal Tracks year round and do education, and right now you have Macy on you. Oh, hi, Macy. So Macy is eight, Marley is 10, and they were raised as brother and sister in someone's home, but you'll notice they're not in their home anymore because monkeys don't make good pets. She can oh. live 40 years in captivity. Wow. Terrible house pet. They have the ability to bite your fingers off, chase the dogs, eat your crown molding, poop paint the walls. He is the only boy monkey here at Animal Tracks, and so you're one of his dudes now. Wow, bro. So these two are different kinds. Marley is actually, um, we think he's part of a brown and weeper cross, and we think Macy is a Brazilian cross, and because they're crosses, they couldn't live in a zoo. And I love zoos. Zoos are why we know how to take care of these animals. But these guys are bound to sanctuaries. A big thing I want people to know is that um, just because the monkeys are nice to one person, right. they're not nice to everybody. Right. So I'm mom Mama. Um, right. But if some, if a stranger tried to hug you like your mother hugs you, that's weird. Yeah, no. and they're like a four-year-old on crack with sharp teeth. Come on, May. Come on down. Come on, my love. Hi, Papa. Good girl. Why oh you sit right there God. on the table? You get to feel her prehensile tail. So they're tree dwellers, arboreal, and so that tail works like a fifth hand. Oh, you have eye jewelry. He says, Ooh. oh, you have a foreign object. Let me remove that. <laughs> this is why you don't get piercings, kids, specifically for monkeys. And Eric, we know you don't have bugs, but he's taking care of you because you are one of his dudes. He wants to make sure you look good when you go out. So he's gonna make sure you don't have any lice. That's the nicest thing anyone has ever done for me. Do you guys recognize these little guys? These are hedgehogs. Sonic and the Black Knight. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say Sonic, just classic. Classic hedgehog character. A little blue fella. Sonic! <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> which this looks nothing like Sonic. Okay. Does that look like Sonic? <laughs> yes. A lot more. <laughs> the he's little nose. Ball. He's just a little ball of happiness. Sonic. A little Sonic the Hedgehog. Or Shadow. Oh my gosh, I've always wanted to like see and hold a little hedgehog. This one is just minding his business in Africa in the mm -hmm. garden. A coyote or fox comes up and goes, hey, I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> I dare you to eat that. It's so, it's so crazy? cool. Look how sharp that is. Ready? Watch this. Ready? How about now? Whoa! Oh, it's a ball! Okay, that's more like that's more like Sonic when he rolls into a ball. They're just fluffy armadillos. Gotta go fast. Go now, on. if you get caught with a hedgehog in California, you're in big, big trouble. Really? Yep. A couple yes. of things you should know: they're not like a hamster, mm -hmm. and they hibernate if they get cold. So three nights of cold, they will roll into a ball, and um, they breathe about three times a minute, and you assume that the animal has died. <gasps> and so people oh. take out their hedgehogs, and they have a little burial ceremony. But in fact, this animal wakes up on a warm day and it's loose in the environment, eating everything that our skunks and foxes and raccoons eat. People get them because they go to Vegas. Oh my word, look at them. It's an impulse buy. 
And then you decide, you know, they're kind of stinky, kind of gross. I really don't want it anymore. And then oh. what do you do with it? Oh, oh, hello. This one's very nice. This oh, one you okay. can pet. She's not upset. She was raised as a baby, mm -hmm. and so she's very friendly. This okay. one, not okay. as friendly. And you can okay. see she's a little quilled up. 5,000 quills. Wow. Um, so they're just modified hairs. Now, are they actually fast, though? <laughs> no, not super fast. Um, <laughs> they're kind of like little misers. They would just be in your garden eating your bugs. Okay. They do eat a little bit of strawberry, a little bit of blueberry. Aww. It's in their contract. You look at this one. You see this, like, brown brownish gray. You see that right yeah, there? Yeah. That's actually her spit. Oh. So there you go. So that's why people bathe their hedgehogs. It's <laughs> called anointing. And when she smells something delicious, she makes this thick saliva, wipes it all over her body. Nice. And then that's her cologne. Hey, buddy. And she's actually oh. biting my hand right now. Do you see that? And that's why I'm wearing a glove. Oh. Look at her. She's like a bulldog. Oh, look at her. She's so yeah, in. I would never ever <laughs> hold that one without a glove. I, it is like holding a ball of needles when they're upset. Oh wow, beautiful color, I like it. Right? Do you guys recognize her from a video game? Yes, uh, obviously Star Fox, Fox McCloud. Sonic Heroes. Um, <laughs> any of the Naruto video games, because foxes are awesome. <laughs> so this is Shy, you guys, and she's a red fox, but she was bred this color for the pet trade. In the wild, that wouldn't exist naturally. It okay. happens less than 10% of the time and they won't survive because of lack of camouflage. She was actually, before she came to us, she was owned by a very young couple that was big into video gaming and they named her Temmie. She was somebody's pet before she was She was somebody's pet, yeah, in Utah. We got her all the way from Provo, Utah. And in Utah, depending on what city you live in, it's legal to own a fox. So there was this young couple that did all the right things. They did their research, they built her an enclosure. Um, and then they moved to a city where they're not legal to own. So they turned her into a sanctuary. How old is Shy? She just turned three years old in April. She can live 15 in captivity, so she's just a youngster still. If you want to try to give her some food, she doesn't seem to be very interested right now, but she can give it a shot. She might. You're okay, mama. Yeah, good girl. Do you, you want not that? My nail. <laughs> Similar <laughs> she won't, color. She won't touch your nail. No? Now she's gonna be. Like, I'm gonna go okay. down here. Never mind. So let's see what she's gonna do. Oh, you were so pretty. <laughs> oh, her little nose. She's like maybe. You're shy. Maybe not. So perfect. That's amazing. Isn't she pretty? Beautiful. Yeah, good girl, shy. Oh, shy. oh my God. See? <laughs> A little RA9 tail yes, fox. I got your paws. I got your paws. I know. Oh. Yeah, really? She's like, oh, I gotta talk about you. Talk through my yawning. I protect. Yes. Oh, yeah. They're really noisy. I know they that are. Much. They live on every continent in the world except for Antarctica. They are oh. one of the most <laughs> successful hunters in the world. Their oh. success rates between 70 and 75 percent. They're sense of hearing is phenomenal. She can hear prey two feet underground or two feet under the snow. There's a handful of animals that can see the Earth's magnetic field and foxes are the only ones that use it to hunt with. Wait, what? Magnetic field? Yes, the Earth's magnetic the field. So if you guys have ever seen the videos of foxes playing in the snow and they jump straight up and they land head first in the snow, they're actually hunting. Oh, hi, baby! <laughs> hi, you have a big head! Do you guys recognize this creature from any video games? A wolf? Super Smash? Kind of looks like Sif from Dark Souls. Oh, oh, <laughs> he's so massive. Dude, his eyes, he looks like he's having so much fun. Wow. He is. <laughs> oh, You're so my warm. goodness. <laughs> it's a little chilly up here today, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my goodness, yeah, you oh, want my you're so playful. That's my whole sweater. This is a young man, his name is Raider, and he's 70% wolf and 30% German Shepherd. Wow. So right now what we're doing is he has puppy brains because he's only a year old, and so we're training him how uh, to not be wolfy. You never want to turn your back to a predator. Wolves are such an important part of the um, ecosystem. They're a main predator. And they found in Yosemite, when they put the wolf back in there, chased the hoofstock back up into the trees and actually changed the way the river flowed. So really important animal, not important in our house. He was meant to be someone's pet, which is a really bad idea. It's taken 10,000 years to turn the wolf into the chihuahua. Get the chihuahua. He has the third strongest jaw in animal history. Look, he could do a teeth whitening commercial. See how white his teeth are? Look at those babies. Oh, he sees a bunny rabbit. Bunny rabbit. Hey. Oh, baby. And the really important job we feel like we have here at Animal Tracks is just showing people how different a wolf is from your dog. They have a third ridge on their molar for bone cracking. You don't really need that in your chihuahua. <laughs> That's so intense. Unless That's you're true. a butcher, you don't really oh, need yeah. bone cracking. Goodness. <laughs> oh, this is high. Goodness. I've seen vlogs and videos of people who 
own like hybrid wolf dogs. Mm -hmm. Is that okay to own? Well, or? I'll tell you, probably about a half a million wolf hybrids get put to sleep every year in our pounds because they bite. So unlike your dog who's been domesticated, when you come in your house and your dog wags his tail, the wolf gets suspicious. The wolf doesn't like new people touching them like your dog does. This guy knows where your jugular vein is located. Oh, wow. Oh my God. You don't want this around small pets or around yeah. you know, small children. We want to respect them. Yeah. Definitely. For sure. I love all animals. Beautiful. Well, thank you for being here today. We do too. So did you guys enjoy your educational experience here today? I very much. Oh my yes. god, it's so cool. Everything that they do to like sanctuary for these animals and there's so many different types here and just great people is really awesome. I wish all of these animals could be pets. They can't be, but they're fantastic to hang out with here. So that was really fun. I mean, I'm just glad to know that they're being taken care of. Like that's yeah. the important part. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cause we, we sure couldn't. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much Animal, Animal Tracks. Tracks. Thanks so much for having us. Thanks, Animal Tracks. Bye. Hey fam, React producer Mary here. Thank you so much for watching us meet video game animals in real life. If you want to see even more incredible behind the scenes content from this shoot, head over to FBE2. We have new shows there and live streams every week. So come hang out.